you were talking to yourself. You okay? It's none of your business. Look, I get it. We've all got our shit. John, he... He went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right. While I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. So what? You're my babysitter? Something like that? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried about Sam. You almost got us killed. Sam killed. I know that now. That's why I wanted to say sorry. Can't blame me for being cautious. You could be scary as fuck, you know. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. The ear is so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. We were safe here. I tried the same thing. But, but a friend stopped me. I've thought about it. How could you not? But like I said, bad shot. If it wasn't for Sam... No. No, Greg. I just need more time. More. No. No. I'm here, Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Let me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. You're hallucinating, Sam. I... I... Greg isn't here, okay? Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. You try to protect everyone, you end up protecting no one. Better than not trying at all. I need a word with you. In private.
Do you have children? A son? A daughter? As for me only. Know the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. We erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. Paige said she killed herself. I... I didn't want my children to think of their mother differently. To wonder why she'd given up. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm. But we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Craig's... I could really use your help. These kids deserve a real childhood. Some place where fear isn't the norm. If I can give them even a sliver of that, I'll die happy. I'm sorry, but our crew's still out there. I have to find them. Please, stay until morning. Perhaps you'll reconsider. <sighs> Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg. He never turned into one of these things, did he? Are those... whatever they are? Yeah. Yeah, he did. My boy. I should have never let him leave. I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But you have no idea what it's like to lose a child. I gave everything for that boy. Everything. And now he's gone. You don't know how that feels. Fuck you. I was wrong about you. Now! Peekaboo. <clears throat> Got it trapped like a rat now. Find her! Ah! 
Yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. If you think I'm shitting any eggs, forget it. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Now why would I do a thing like that? Where is he? Well, that fella liked talking so much, I gave him another hole in his head to do it with. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Someone should. Yeah! Tell her my hands are vice stuff, and I've swallowed a pint of my own blood. Where the hell are you? You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Sean, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Don't want my piano playing days to be over so soon. Like she said, check in. Let her know you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll play nice. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I thought something had happened. Where the hell have you been? With Michonne. She's not the best host, if you can believe that. Killed two of our own. Got me hostage in a house. Southwest of the tower. So you might want to come knocking. Little slow, Michonne. Little slow. Can't believe you let me keep talking. Almost got my whole life story out. I thought you were sharper than that. Michonne? Pick up the radio. Now. Oh, shit. Norma's storming now. Go on. Throw some words at her. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this. Michonne, if you so much as scratch my brother. Oh, well. If I could find you, she'll find you. You know. This alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench 
and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt like a rotted pumpkin. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well, not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Sean? Is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Please. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No! Asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbled around like a bear cub fucking a football. Randall has more value if he's alive. Gives us something to bargain with when Norma gets Listen here. Listen to me. That won't work. They only bargain with bullets. You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! Well, <laughs> ain't I the bell of the ball? Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing me. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're right about that. Feels good to get that out in the open, don't it? Well, maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. Now that is some biblical shit, ain't it? That's how it is now. Nothing we can do to change it. Preaching to the fucking choir. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or died in, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about them. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of a world.
I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean. Nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down.